There are two ways to be successful. And I don't subscribe to the first one. That's just natural talent. And I just don't believe people who are naturally talented are better than me. I believe effort, and you've heard me say it, your mama might come from privilege. Your daddy might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company. You might have a father that can give you everything your little heart desires, but you will not outwork me. Why? Because I realize that the bigger the dream, the more effort you're going to have to put in. I'm saying that some of you in this room, you might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. The longer you're going to have to stay up. I'm talking about concrete commitment. I'm talking about the commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because I think we all know in this room, character is not something that we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day. We got to fight and we got to build it. You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do got to pour into that dream. I understand it is in the process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I'm phenomenally willed. My IQ may never change, but my will changes every year. I get stronger and stronger and more determined. Why? Because it's in my DNA. I make the decisions every single day to be successful or to be a failure. We're not dealing with chance no more, baby. It's all choice. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. Get up. Act like you're playing basketball. Act like you're playing football. Compete. That's what bothers me. Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete. Act like you play football. Go in that doggone classroom. Compete. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. I'm not against no other motivational speaker. I'm just competitive. When you dedicate your life, you don't care anything about the odds. When the dream is big enough, the odds don't matter. When you're working, you have a wall to break through. A friend of mine who runs a marathon, he says, when he's running the 26-mile marathon, he said, let's say that hypothetically, that 18th mile is the wall. He said, Les, when you get there and you're running, he says, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It seems like you're moving at slow motion. And then eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, then you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you glide on in. And you know it's there. You know you're going to get to the finish line. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible. And we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked. You were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard. It was rough. It was difficult. But to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level, you know, can nothing stop me now. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. And you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. 
But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. And I got what it takes. This is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day and I got to go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not going to stop me. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room for growth. There's still room to grow and be better. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to cut it out. Keep on going again and again and again. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, it's not over until I win. Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real, real small. It's like that quiet walk to the gym. Some empty ass gym late at night. Over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and then comparing it with what I'm doing and looking at it. Over and over and over. Doing 20 minutes of quiet meditation a day. Over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters. Over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself, doing these like simple little tasks, but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens. When we look at the leading sales professionals of the world, when we look at the best business people, we say she's gifted, she's smarter than me, she just somehow knows more than me. She's got a better education. She had an easier background. She got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. I'm an ordinary person, but I focused on my craft. I had a burning desire to be excellent. I love what I do. Sharing in my books and speaking is my oxygen, it's my DNA. Four in the morning I get up and I'm working on my craft because I love it. I love it. The process is just as important as the actual prize because the process is going to make you the deeper the process, the greater the reward. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. Because he loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. The nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. 
Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. I understand it is in the process that you get better. It's in the process that don't nobody know your name and five years later, you're one of the best in the world. Why? The process. I don't get up at three o'clock in the morning because I'm broke. Then why do you get up at three o'clock in the morning? Because I ain't finished yet. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. Somebody gave you a guarantee, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, if you don't make what they told you you going to make, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the economy. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because it ain't the season. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the opportunity ain't there. The truth of the matter is that you ain't there because you ain't there. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. And there's some of you, you know what you want, but you are not personally willing to do the work it takes to get it. What you're trying to do is do what you've done on this level and get the next level. You're like, I'm getting up every day. I'm putting in two and a half. I'm putting in three and I'm not getting the opportunity. The opportunity might require getting up and working out three and a half. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. It might require you moving to another city. Whatever it takes, you gotta be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else, because it's easier to blame somebody else. That's the problem with some of you. You always wanna hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more alcohol, no more, no, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. We tired of the 60% you. We tired of this crying you, this complaining you. We tired of this version. Greatness is in you, you are here. You here, leave your dog go mark. You here, do something. So whatever you got to do, you do it. And if those of you, you were this close, but you compromised, you let your feelings get the best of you. It's time for you to cut average. It's time for you to cut good so you can finally get to great. There are no excuses. You cannot cheat success. You got to work for it. You got to breathe it. You got to sleep it. You got to eat it. You got to put forth 120%. I didn't get here making excuses. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. It only take one extra push up. It only take one extra mile. It only take one extra grade. It only takes one extra effort. It only takes one extra something to get you to where you're trying to get to. And the goal is, you gotta go a little further than the man who's trying to get what you're trying to get. And can't nobody stop me but me. For some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. I'm wired differently. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Every opportunity, I'm still nervous because the day you become content, the day you stop getting better, is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. You gotta get this beast mode. You gotta embody beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm gonna get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's mine. I'm coming to get it. I'm coming to get it. I'm coming to get it. Everybody has a turn back moment. Everybody has a crossroad. You can either decide to continue or to quit, to go forward or to go back. I need you to evaluate yourself and ask yourself the question, how are you wired? When you have a trial or a tribulation, how are you wired? When you hear the word no, does it break you? I'm wired differently. I get excited about no, I love no. I love it, it turns me on. No, Eric, I'll be back. I'll be back, I'll be stronger when I come back. Don't shun the no. Every no, you take the no and you recycle it. 
you hold on to it you embrace every no and you let each of no make you callous to no you get so strong that when you hear no it turns you on and for many of you you have robbed yourself of a full life because you don't want to deal with crises because they're uncomfortable and because you're timid and passive you run from them there's gonna be some scars. The scars gonna come. You might as well get blessed by the scars. They gonna come. There's gonna be scars. There's gonna be defects. There's gonna be problems. You running from the blessing. There's gonna be scars. This is earth. There's gonna be some hiccups. We gonna take some L's. We gonna get hurt. We gonna cry. We all go through it. You think you the only one? You think you special? Some of you though, you let your pain pump you. You let your pain make you quit. I'm telling you, do me a favor. Just don't let it break you. If you get past it on the other side of it, it's going to be phenomenal. I don't want to go through this process, but nevertheless, take me through the fire. And there are those of you, you were this close, but you compromised. You let your feelings get the best of you. And you let a little pain stop you from your dream. Girl, you was there. You was running your business. You were there. I didn't quit because people didn't understand. I worked harder when people didn't support me. You better grind because if you don't, you'll be stuck at that adversity for the rest of your life. Whatever it is, you'll be stuck there. Why don't I get something for it? You ain't gotta have the best head in life. You ain't gotta start with the two-parent background. You ain't gotta start with wealth. You ain't gotta start with your parents graduated. It's not the hand that you dealt. It's how you play your hand. When people die, or people get sick, or something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, nothing can stop you. No mountain, no trial, no tribulation. Nothing can stop you when it's deeper than just money and stuff. I can. I, can. I, will. I will. I must. I must. It's going to rain sometimes. I will. I will. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. I will. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I will. I will. I, will. I, will. I, will. I must. What's that thing that's gonna pump you up and get you over that mountain? What's gonna pump you up and get you past that disease? What's gonna pump you up and get you past bankruptcy? What's gonna pump you up and get you to the other dog on side? Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, you can win. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care how big the giant is, you can win. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. The guy was the new owner of a team, a baseball team that was in the basement of the league when he took it over. He went to the pitcher and he said, what is your best throw? And he said, well, I got a good curveball and I've got a good fastball. And he went on talking about his different throws. He said, but tell me this, what is your best throw? He thought for a moment. He said, I've got a good fastball. He said, that's all I want you to work on. Nothing else. Just develop your fastball. The next year, they went to the World Series. Most people don't know where their fastball is. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep that eye single, learning how to concentrate, learning how to focus in, deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills, you'll be surprised at the ideas that will come to you, of the people that you'll be able to attract, of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You begin to see things that have been staying there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. But you can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. 
selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. So you've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. Never, ever allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, popping bottles with models and all that shit, that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. As you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. Good intentions are worthless unless they lead to good actions. Nobody ever had their life changed by somebody hoping, thinking. Wake yourself up. If you want a new year and a new life, you don't need to start on January 1st. Start today. Start with this little video. Because once you discipline yourself in one area of your life, everything else will shift in your life as well. There's always two pains in life. There's the pain of discipline, or there's the pain of regret. Discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. And the time is now. The secret of your success is determined by what we do daily. Make every day your masterpiece. So right now, what do you want to change? What's it really like? What do I really want in depth? What are the rituals that will get me there? And then get yourself to start a few of those actions and lock them in place. Just get today done. Today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. Just today. I want to back everything up with action. Always, always back it up with movement. Don't talk about working out. You can do it all day, but do it. And so many people, ah, man, I'm finna do this, I'm finna, I'm finna. And man, I said, man, well, why haven't you? Why aren't you? And so everything you see me doing, I just said, I'm going. I'm trying. I'm going for it. I don't care. And we'll see what happens. I want my 95-year-old self to say, you did the right thing. It's time to stop making your excuses. It's time to start taking advantage of the world we live in today and all the opportunities that are staring you in the face. You do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the energy. You just need to decide. Decide that you want it bad enough and admit the truth, which is nothing, nothing in this world is free. Admit that you can have anything you want, but it's going to be hard work. Admit that you are the only reason that you are where you are. And you are the only reason that you ain't where you want to be. Take responsibility and accept it. You've got to go get it. Now. Now is the time. Now is your moment. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now. It's your time to decide that you can. You will. You must. Tomorrow don't exist. You only have this moment, right now. And what you decide to do in this moment can shape the rest of your life. Stop making excuses and start making some changes. Round at where you are and where I'm at you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about and you will lose and I will win. That person who was your hater, they thought they defeated you. That person who told you you'll never amount to anything, they thought they defeated you. Use them for fuel, use them for energy. Put them on the mental roller decks in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, Roll through your brain. Pull up that motherfucker that you need. That person who said you couldn't do something. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with fucking success. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. So a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming.
You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to do. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. You're going to prove a wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. Never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, and all that shit, that ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. You see me in my Rolls Royce, private planes, rooftop hotel, five, six star lifestyle. I've worked my ass off to have it. And you can keep all your little slick ass comments to yourself. Cause guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Shut the fucking noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like it. You need to do something right. Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. And you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full. You already said, I can't take another thing. And then out of nowhere, here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it. And in your homes, somewhere in your heart, these words are echoing. Am I going to make it? When you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. There are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up that it looks just totally impossible. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, don't give up then. That's when you've got to fall forward, when life is kicking dirt in your face. Don't give up then. That's when most people turn back. As long as you're alive, there is hope. You're still alive. You're still here. It's never too late that it's never too dark and we can always turn things around. There's going to be bad days, there's going to be dark days, but you got to embrace it because that pain is what makes you stronger. Pain is the high cost of growth. If you want to grow up, you want to be mature, there is no way to do it without pain. You can't grow up on easy street. And the very thing that discourages you is the very thing that develops you. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to save you. The only person that's going to make a drastic change in your life, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, the only person that is going to dig you out of your hole is who? You. You have to do it for you. You've got to become courageous to stand up within yourself, to face it and step forward. We all get a taste of that victim mentality, the why me? You can become the victim of the situation or the victor of the situation. You need to be the master of your emotions, not let them affect you. You are the dictator. You are the captain of your boat, whether you let things affect you in a negative way or a positive way. I don't lose. I only win or learn. In life, there's only winning or learning. All your problems become gifts once you learn from them. And some of you have allowed adversity to make you stop. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. Execute, execute, execute. In the midst of adversity, execute. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to be. And you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're going to prove all of them wrong. And if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you, on the other side is a reward. Pain is not permanent. 
pain is temporary. Tell me one thing in your life that is great that came as a result of being comfortable. Because everywhere I look and everywhere I see in today's society, everybody's doing everything they can to be more comfortable. They're looking for the more convenience. They're looking for the quicker. They're looking for the faster. And see, there's opportunity in that for those of you that want to get better. Because I'm going to tell you right now, all the reasons that these successful people that you look up to, that you aspire to be like, are the way they are, have all come from a place of being uncomfortable. Understand that when you're trying to avoid the pain, when you're trying to avoid the struggle, when you're trying to avoid the hard things, you are actively choosing to be average. You are actively choosing to be mediocre. And you are actively choosing to move further away from what you want in life. Because that hardship and that pain and that struggle, they give you the skills that will forge you into a motherfucking champion. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. You guys have got to believe in yourself. Headstrong, mentally tough. It's the only way to the bullshit here in life. Winners, the difference between them and the spectators, is the winners have a belief that overrides the crowd's disbelief every single time. Their belief is so strong, even though they hit failure, they get knocked on the ass. They're finally the intestinal fortitude to stand back up again, face that same challenge, learning from the previous mistakes, and make it happen. Winners fail a million times. What makes them a winner is that they believe it, they're headstrong. Nothing's gonna stop them. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, or quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest f***ing worker there. No longer are we going to accept rhymes and society's rhyme the reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must believe it so much so that we're arrogant about it. We must be pissed off for excellence. The easy route never pays well. The only route in life that pays well is the hard route. You're working out, you want to die. Feel the death happening in you. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Because it will be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock, sipping on a protein shake. Boy, I really went hard. I really went hard on that set. I really went hard in school. I really went hard in my career. I really went hard in life. Go hard and die hard. If you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. And if you go to the gym the next day and you come back and you look in the mirror, you will see nothing. So clearly there's no results, can't be measured, it must not be effective. So we quit. Or if you fundamentally believe that this is the right course of action and you stick with it, you commit yourself to the regime, the exercise. But if you stick with it consistently, I'm not exactly sure what day, but I know you'll start getting into shape. If you hit an oak tree a thousand times, in a thousand different spots, what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an oak tree a thousand times in the exact same spot, you know what's going to happen? You're going to bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. People put out goals, dreams, and aspirations and what they want to accomplish. But you very rarely hear people say what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make it happen. They'll tell you the goal, the dream, the aspiration. They'll tell you they want to be great, but they're not going to say, I'm going to stop going out on Friday night. They're not going to say I'm a sacrifice and I'm going to stay late. I don't hang with people who can only get up when they got something to motivate them. That's not somebody I want to hang out with. I want to hang with somebody. I don't care what the circumstances. I don't care what the situation. You put it on your back and you like, let's go. Are you hearing me? You're not at it, dog. 
I gotta clear my mind of some stuff, but when I get up there, I gotta do what I gotta do. Why? Because success is not a failing. It's a mindset. You have to commit to becoming better. You have to commit to being a person of action. You have to commit to being someone who doesn't just talk, but follows through. You have to plan ahead. And by planning ahead, you have to create a life in your head that is so fucking great that even if you fall short, you're gonna be better than everybody else. Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. Stop doing stuff in January that you know you're not gonna do in March. I'm just saying whatever you do, be on time and be consistent. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. Sometimes it ain't about being the most talented. Sometimes it ain't about being the smartest. Sometimes it's about consistency. Consistency, just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and never stop and never give up and never quit and keep doing it day after day, play after play, second after second. You should work every day like somebody's working 24 hours a day to take it away from you. If you're not working to get better on a daily basis, if you're not pursuing the fulfillment of your own true potential, you are losing. You're either getting better or you're getting f***ing passed by people who are. Every time you kick back and you think you're the greatest and you think you're the sh and you think you're the best at what you do, there is somebody that's one inch behind you that gets better than you. If you do this morning, noon, and at night, it's gonna happen. The only way it doesn't happen is you're not focusing on it and you're not giving it energy. So even if you're better than me, it doesn't matter. If I'm putting energy out in the world, the world is gonna respond because if I put energy on it, it ain't no way it's not gonna happen. The only way I'm not going to be the best is if I'm not out there. Yo, acting like doing well is an option. That's not an option. Show up. That means I come every single time on time. It means every time I come, I put in 120% or I don't go. Why? Because I'm trying to be the best. Every single day you wake up, if you're going to have energy, if you're going to have drive, every day you wake up, you got to start with that vision. People look at those of us who are successful like we're superhuman. We're not. We're normal people like you. The only difference is we wake up with clarity. We wake up knowing exactly what we want. We wake up knowing exactly what our purpose is. When you understand what you're after, when you know what your outcomes are, when you know what you desire, you wake up every single morning and you go after it. And if you're not willing to do it every single day, you're not going to beat the man is doing it every single day. I'm not the best, but they have not outworked me. I'm not the best, I'm a beast. The real beast is when their legs give out. The real beast when they tire. The real beast find a way to pull something out when nobody else ain't got nothing. All your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, got that blanket giving you a warm hug and you got the the pillow which is whispering in your ear telling you it's okay telling you to stay just a little longer but don't listen to them they're lying to you listen to your alarm clock which is telling you to get up and get some listen to the weight room the pull-up bar which is telling you to face reality and listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness, kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. You trying to get to the next level when you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. 
You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge, you'll upgrade your skills, you'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless. Regardless of your emotions, these test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions fucking thrive on. Those days that you don't want to do anything, were you too tired, too sore, you just don't feel like it? Those days, those are the days that count. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you've got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. You're your biggest problem. Everything is external that moves you. Now I want you to start moving yourself internally. I want you to be able to push your buttons and not let anything else push your buttons. You gotta move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nobody control your mood. You control your mood. You control your feelings. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what including today. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up. It's showtime. Let's go. Get up. Go to class, get up, do your homework, work on your gift. It was given to you, but you gotta hone it. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you've given yourself an option, you've given yourself an out, you've given yourself an excuse, but you have what it takes to do it. And the problem with some of you in this room, you don't have no tribe. You ain't got nothing pushing you. You have no reason. You better find one before you get out of here today. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is going to work out. It's not. It's going to be a dog fight. On the road to success, I lost five aunts to cancer. It's a dog fight. My wife, three years ago, seven legions fought on the brain. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been easy. It's a dog fight. It hadn't been, the road hadn't been success. Like it's just a paved road and like each he go this way. It's been rough. It's been crooked. It's been hard. But I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. 
You will not defeat me. The only way I lose is if I quit. It's going to be a dog fight. And so if you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're ready to quit, don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. This type of energy, this type of passion, you can't stop it. You can contain it for a while, but you cannot stop. This is life. And you can't defeat me. You don't have enough power. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough strength to stop this. Your pain ain't permanent. It might last for a second. It might last for a minute. It might last for an hour. It might last for a week. It might last for a day. It might last for months. But sooner or later, if you do not surrender, if you do not give up, if you do not give in, it will subside. Listen to me, you can talk like a victim, you can act like a victim, or you can be a victor, and you can say, despite the odds, I will defy the odds. You're gonna work through this. You're gonna get up, you're gonna get dressed, you're gonna get out, and you're gonna do what you've been called to do. You're gonna be what you called to and you're gonna prove that everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you're gonna prove all of them wrong. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you? Or will you let it redefine you? You've got to continue to work on yourself personally. You've got to decide to be relentless. You've got to decide never to give up. You've got to find some reasons within yourself that will give you the stamina when life catches you on the blind side to get back up again, to keep on calling and coming back again and again and again. You're going to quit or you're going to make it to your goal. You're going to quit or you're going to make it to your silver. You're going to quit or you're going to stand there and do what you got to do to make your dreams become a reality. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through.